the cell. Cell is the basic unit or building blocks of life, also known as the smallest living unit of an organism. The cell was first described by Robert Hooke in 1665 in his famous book, Micrographia. The description was based on a microscopic cork from a plant cell. Cell was derived from cele, an old French word, and cella, a Latin, meaning storeroom or a chamber. The smallest cell can be as small as 2 micrometer or 1 over 12,000 of an inch and the biggest is around 3 feet. There are three types of cell, the somatic and sex cells. Somatic meaning body cells and sex cells are the gametes. Eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells meaning without a nucleus and eukaryotic is with a nucleus. Unicellular is single cell and multicellular are many cells. There are three common things among all cell. One is the presence of cell membrane, which separates the cell from its environment or from one to another cell. Cytoplasm is a jelly-like fluid where the organelles are floating and embed. And finally, the DNA, which contains the genetic material. Let us compare between eukaryotes and prokaryotes. There are two broad categories of cells. The first is the eukaryotic cell and characterized by the presence of nucleus of larger size of for around 10 to 100 micrometer. It is usually surrounded by a double membrane and has a nucleolus. Eukaryotic cells are more advanced. This can be found among plants and animals. The second type is a prokaryotes about 1 to 10 micrometer unicellular and bacteria is the typical example. It has no nucleus. However, there is a nucleoid with no nuclear membrane. It multiplies by fission or by budding. Cell theory was first coined by Robert Hooke and Lewin Hooke which further states that all living things are made out of cell, that cell is the basic unit of life, and cells arise from pre-existing cell. However, with the discovery of presence of cells among animals by Sladen, the presence of cells among plants by Swan, and the discovery of cell division by Bircho, the modern cell theory emerged which further states that the energy of organism is formed in the cell. Hereditary information, DNA, is passed on from cell to cell and that all cells have the basic chemical composition. It is with regards to the types, classification, groups, and locations. The cells may perform the following functions. Absorption and secretion, digestion and movement, respiration and irritability, biosynthesis and homeostasis, excretion and reproduction, and finally, ingestion. Cell organelles. What really are cell organelles? They are so called as the little organs. They are special parts of the cell with a unique jobs to perform. The following are the cell organelles, cytoskeleton, mitochondria, ribosomes, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, vacuole, lysosomes, centrioles, flagella, and chloroplasts. Nucleus. 
nucleus is said to be the center of the cell or the command center of the cell. It stores the genetic code DNA. DNA dictates what the cell is going to do and how it is going to do it. Chromatin. It is the stangle or the spread out form of the DNA that can be found inside the nuclear membrane. During mitosis or meiosis, the DNA condenses and it forms a structure called chromosomes. Nucleus also contains the structure called nucleolus. This is where the ribosomes are being made. And the plasmic reticulum, the manufacturer of various organic compounds, ribosomes transport membrane. It produces secretory proteins and it transports proteins out of the cell. Outside the nucleus, ribosomes float around a jelly fluid called cytoplasm. Ribosomes will freely float or may attach to the endoplasmic reticulum, which are of two types. One is a rough endoplasmic reticulum that is with a ribosomes, and the other is a smooth endoplasmic reticulum without a ribosomes. And the plasmic reticulum is an enclosed membrane structure which serves as a passageway for transporting materials such as protein synthesized by the ribosomes. Ribosomes. It is referred to as a protein factories of the cell. It receives instruction via RNA or mRNA. This is reversed to the smallest organelle, a small dot-like structure. Vacuoles and vesicles. Vacuoles are large water filled sac floating in the cytoplasm. It stores food and other materials by and within the cell. All plants have a very large vacuole. Vesicles are water tank of the cell. It carries proteins and other materials to Golgi bodies. It serves as a storage of water that dissolves the substances. The smaller versions is mainly for the transport. 